OG Seven. Shout out to my homies at the home floor. Tap in, play B. A humble soul. We checking back in, man. Another exclusive. OG shit, you smell it. We got Mr. Marcelo in front of the camera once yeah. again. Jet Life General Cello. You know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, look, let's get straight to it. Come on, when you play, let's go. <laughs> man, so the, the last time, man, you know, we chopped it up about a lot of different things. Um, you touched on, like, the early 90s um, in New Orleans, just how serious it was. Um, the Magnolia Calliope, um, just history. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Before it was tension to the, to the issues and how you were still kind of cool on both sides through it all. Man, get to it. You know what you want to talk about. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving for people who didn't see the last interview. You oh, know what right, I'm saying? Right. But you talked about, okay, one of the key things is, um, man, you was uh, you was locked in with the Hot Boys, man, the original Hot Boys. And um, you talked about your relationship with each one of them. And um, I also asked you about, you know, your thoughts on Gangster. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? As far as, like, him cooperating and talking about a couple of the deceased members, you know, of the Hot Boys, who you, who you knew. And, um... And I that, gave my opinion, and he took it like I was saying. When I said, um, when I say I don't like the back and forth, but I wasn't talking about like as in him. I'm just talking about period, because I know both sides of it. But he took it to where I was saying that like he's the one with the back and forth, so he showed to where it's like he was only responding to things. I mean, which I understood. Yeah. But I wasn't saying like as in... It wasn't pointing him out saying that as in like he the person who was starting it. For me, it ain't about who started or none of that shit because I know both sides. I'm just not on it like I'm as in, you know, when it's family, it's family. It's just something different. For sure. And I just was saying that as in, when you ask me my perspective of it, that was my perspective of it. But it, it wasn't just that. Like, <clears throat> you said you stand on the code, you know, don't do I mean, no red. As in this is when I see a code, like, right? This. But you talking I don't stand about? on street law, I stand on man law. Man law is a part of that, like, I'm not going to get into in, in nothing that I can't stand on, like that. So I would never put myself in a predicament, like I'm grown now. So it's a lot of things that go on in the street that I don't even fuck with. I stand on man law, like, once you get to a certain age, you become a man, so you, some of that street shit you got to let go. Like, and when I say it, I'm talking about, like, spying to everybody, nigga that say something or something. I'm talking about straight street shit. Like, what's understood don't need to be explained. So you get in, you stop getting into arguments and fusses. You start understanding, like, some of these spots I ain't supposed to be in. I outgrew them. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just push you, and you got shit to live for. Like, a, but, man, motherfuckers ain't got to worry about no gangster. What you got to worry about is a man, because he got shit to do tomorrow. You're gonna move different. Like, him not going home, is that's not an option. Like, gangsters, I mean, as a gangster, motherfuckers who call themselves gangsters, they move different. Like, they don't move like men. Not like a grown man. We have shit to do tomorrow, so we move different. Like, we gotta make sure we get on. You gotta bring your daughter to school. Your wife gotta go to work. You know, you got all kinds of shit to do. Son gotta go to basketball practice. We move way different. Yeah. Nah, man, bro, um, <laughs> bro, just to uh, take a step back, so when you talked about um, just going back to the gangster side versus, like, you know, just being a man and maturing, you know what I'm saying, and actually taking care of real life responsibilities on, on, on the street side, bro, so you were around when those laws were made, you know, you, yeah, you were at that table. That's why everybody there probably um, about the not had any kind of discrepancies about it was probably because they was around can you talk like about that's the only people that I can only respect. That's why I like when the younger dudes be saying something, I'll be like, y'all can't really speak on it. Can you well, uh, can you talk about that time, bro? Like for the viewers I mean, who may not be familiar. Around the time of the nineties where laws was made. And I'm not saying that like everybody just sat down, but was it's things understood. Mm -hmm. And in that time, everybody stood on that law. And that law is I ain't no rap. Oh, no, indeed. Oh, no. Uh, period. None. Let me ask you this, Cello. Um, 
with you being somebody who's a, a quote unquote OG now, you know, um, but you, you, you spent your time in the streets as well. Have you ever been in a situation where that, that was kind of presented to you? Like you always get in those situations every time you go to jail. Hold on, say that again. You say what now? You always get in those kind of situations anytime you go to jail. Like mm -hmm. if you really get some money, like they won't see if you won't get yourself out of the situation. Man, nobody got no time to talk to y'all. Man, get me out there. No, for sure, for sure. Because it's not only the statements like like you don't even want to talk because you can make statements that gonna fuck you up just by even having a conversation with him. I ain't got no chop for you. Figure it out, do your job. So never, you never for what ever entertain that. You understand that when you get in that game, you know the consequences, right? Now being a man, not like versus the streets to the man. Like, I'm not what position as a man. Show me a position that they're gonna put me in where I'm after right. I'm a man. I'm not. I, I, I know everything going on in the streets. I got pilot, but I'm not there. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to put me in the position where I'm going to have to ride on somebody? Like, please, come up with it. Uh, just hypothetically speaking, if you, you ride with, with, with your homeboy. Just, see, just, let me, let me get it out. Let, go. let me so get it out, go. man. So, so you ride with your partner, and y'all get pulled over. It's a, it's a pistol or some pistols in the car, and they search the vehicle. First, I got a legal gun, so I'm not riding with no illegal guns. Your gun makes my gun illegal. Well, let, let me let me let me let me get it off, though. I mean, so so so, so 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 you know, but it's not your legal gun. You know what I'm saying? And, and you weren't aware that the gun was in the car, mm -hmm. and the other person doesn't take responsibility of it. Y'all both not go to jail. No car with them kind of people. But uh, just hypothetically speaking, it's not. Don't, I'm just showing you how you protect yourself. Like this, um, um, like T Y B G little something, right? Free him. Um, used to be a gang of them always hanging together, right? The dude's really in the streets, right? Um, the soldier, um... Was it Young Juve? Nino, uh -huh. Young Juve, like, all of them about to go to the studio on them. I think it's T.Y. and, um, the soldier pull up and come get me. Right, they come to the house. They're like, come on, you can ride with us. I said, what y'all got to go? Oh, I got this, that, I said, I'm following you. And I follow. But like you gotta be conscious of that because that's not their job like as in them the dudes really in the streets, like I gotta protect myself through that. So I got to find out what's in there. Like I don't get, like the, the number one thing that gets you in trouble in the streets is bored. When you get bored, you do shit that you don't normally do. I don't get bored. I can easily find something to do. So I protect myself once I start moving around and all that kind of shit, I protect myself. Everybody make mistakes, but I protect myself. Yeah. It's, if, if it's going to be a mistake, I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. So, like, it became a time with the youngsters, I had to push myself away from them a little bit because their mistakes could have gotten killed. So, I had to let them go bump their head and make their mistakes, but I'm still here for you. But still, man, just. just I, don't, you, it, I can't. I'm, I, listen. We're going to end it. We, we, I'm, I'm going to end it with this. If y'all both got arrested. Would you, just, I got to say, would you take I, the charge? I mean, I'm going upstairs. You would take the charge? I'm going upstairs. I'm not taking nothing. Me and them not talking. Where you bringing me at, man? It's no conversation. What's the conversation about? If they arrest both of us for the gun charge, then both of us are arrested, right? They, ain't no, they, you think they're going to sit me down and ask me who the gun for? They're not going to get that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Soon they be like, oh, we want to holler at you about You can holler man. Upstairs, bro. Uh, where I'm going at? And the reason I asked you that, man, I was in uh, Chicago recently. And um, I asked um, a person up there about a situation where um, a dude was in a car with his homeboy and he pretty much was like, man, the dude had a, a firearm, but he didn't take responsibility for it. And why, when they got locked up, he was like, man, hey, man, he told the people, like, hey, man, bro, going to take, take his weight. That's his gun. And some people viewed it as snitching. Some didn't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was doing that. Like you being a lot older, you know. Um, what, 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 like, let me tell you this, right? Social media have things with a gray line. And my time is black and white. Social media always got something gray. So, like, they, they want you to respond to shit, but then when you respond to the shit, they go to the gray line on it. But I only can talk about my time there. I feel you. I don't know this new shit going on. I feel you. And I don't get into it. Now, if one of them come asking my opinion, I'm going to tell them what I think. But what I eat don't make you shit. That don't mean you got to listen.